Welcome to this demonstration of testing failover with vSphere Fault Tolerance. In the last demo, we enabled fault tolerance for our VM named Payroll01 in our inventory list. Note the distinctive icon. The status shows that it is protected, the location of the secondary VM, and the log bandwidth usage. We will now initiate a test failover for this VM. This is a controlled method to ensure that the secondary is ready for failover. We right-click on the virtual machine, go to Fault Tolerance, and click on Test Failover. The test will terminate the primary VM, and the secondary VM will seamlessly take over and change to be the new primary VM. vSphere Fault Tolerance will then create a new secondary VM on a different host. Let us go ahead and test the failover. We simply click on it, and the process gets started. Note that we also have the option to test the restart of the secondary VM. This action will terminate the secondary VM, which will trigger fault tolerance to recreate a new secondary. We are notified that our fault tolerance state has changed to not protected starting. What this means is that the primary VM has been terminated and the secondary VM took over instantaneously and a new secondary has been created and is starting up. After the view is refreshed, we see that our VM status shows as protected again, and our secondary VM is now located on a different host. This concludes our demonstration of vSphere Fault Tolerance Test Failover. Thank you.